Hey, it's Jessica, and I'm here doing a DIY uh, toy for the gerbils. Um, I haven't really picked anything out or thought through this much, so it's going to be like a vlog DIY. And there's the piggies because, you know, I got stuff out, so they think it's for them. So basically, I'm going to just like stuff this tube. I'm going to cut it in half first because I was actually looking for a toilet tube because I thought I saved one and put it somewhere, but I don't know if maybe it got thrown out. And yes, what you hear in the background is I Love Lucy because I'm watching it and I didn't feel like muting it because I'm kind of watching it. Plus, yeah, you're not going to hear anything bad from that show. <laughs> so I'm going to cut this in half. Um, One-handedly, apparently. I didn't really think this through. Oh, these scissors cut well. I need bigger scissors. And a third hand. Or a tripod. I think I'm getting one, or soon. Like one that's for cell phones that you can get from like eBay. I hope so. I don't know. There's nothing that will hold this. I'm trying to think. It's one of those things where it's like if anything touches the screen, if it's a phone, it's gonna turn off the camera. Yep. So I guess I will do this quickly and come back. Okay, so once you have two hands, it takes like one second. So, here's my pieces. And I guess I'll save one for later. So I'm definitely going to put hay in it, but I figured what else can I put in? Um, they really like these, so maybe I can stuff some of that in it. I'm not going to use one of these because I have some toilet paper. Beet treats! I didn't even know I had these. Hmm. I had apple. I have apple ones left, but there's only four left, so I didn't want to use it. Maybe I'll break up one of these in it. Jeez, for all the times I said I should give them beet treats again. And I can. You're not getting anything. You guys got... They had... Asian pear with their salad tonight, so I don't really want to give them a treat because they got fruit tonight. So let's take one of these so I can smash it. Still have this for the guinea pigs, I haven't given it to them, I never given them this yet. Or this. Or anything really. Got like two extra ones of these. Still haven't touched these yet. But I opened them. Just like my cupcakes are somewhere. Just like my cute guys are still here. Is this a kiwi stick? I guess I can stick that in. That's been chewed on, so it's not. Cool. Uh, it's my boxo and my other stuff. I'm trying to find my package from Danny because yes, I still have everything boxed up. I didn't feel like putting it away. I like keeping everything in the box. They're still working on the uh, whimsy. I think that's pretty cool that I got a bunch of these. I'm just going to keep giving them to the gerbils. Um, I don't know why I kept this. I kept it. I'm going to use one of the apple twigs he gave me. I can't remember where I put it. That 
looks good. Just one, because I do want to give the guinea pigs some. No, I haven't put any of this stuff up yet because I'm waiting. I don't know what I'm waiting for, but I'm waiting. Well, the stuff I want to give to the durables, I'm waiting for them to go back in their 29 gallon tank. This is what I wish I could do with my hay. Let's just show it down here. Which is what I did with my 25 pound hay, but not the 50. Okay, so I got beet. I got roll. I got these. I got this. And obviously I'm going to be putting some of my hay in it, because I like that. I wish I had like a different type of hay. But I don't. Like an oat hay. I don't think if I have anything I can put in from this. Maybe some seeds. I'm gonna come back. Cause you don't want to watch this. Okay, so I pinched the bottom like this, and then I stuck the apple thing in it, and I also have the kiwi chew in it. And this kiwi chew is from uh, Living World. It's one of the nibblers. I got it, and um, I don't think my guinea pigs like it too much. They just chew the bark off. So we'll see how the gerbils like it. They might just chew the bark off also. So I was gonna stuff some hay in it. And yes, I know my TV's loud. So this is just orchard grass. Normal stuff I give to my pigs. I think this video is going to be in a whole bunch of little parts since I'm trying to do everything with one hand. Anyway, so what you want to do is just stuff with hay and then uh, come back and put in your other stuff. I will be back again. Okay, so I stuck in the oat spray. The beet stuff I stuck in like both ends. There's more hay in it and then I also stuck in some of this. Which is just um, a couple pieces of banana. I stuck in this papaya in this. So I stuck in a piece of that. Uh, raisin, so stuck in a piece of that. <gasps> the bag is open! This like just happened. Oh no. I'm gonna have to get myself a baggie or something. Um, what else did I stick in? Pineapple, I think. Because one of them was yellow, so I think that's pineapple. That's about it. I just stuck to those three things and there's not too much in it. I'm gonna not keep this for much longer. I don't really use it because it's really sugary. And now there's a freaking hole in it. I don't have an extra bag on me right now, so I'm gonna have to get a baggie for it. So you could just give it to your pet like this and let them chew through it. But since I'm doing this for gerbils, I'm gonna like wrap it in paper. Um, ideally, I'm gonna have to vacuum. Ideally, I would use like brown paper, like a from like a brown paper bag, but I don't have that because I don't have brown paper bags and I don't have like a brown paper grocery bag because none of my grocery stores do that. So this is just white paper. So I'm basically just gonna roll it and like twist the ends. Because so, I'm if you're doing this for a hamster, you could probably just leave it like this because at least my hamsters aren't as big chewers. Or maybe even guinea pigs, you could just do it like this. But I don't think my guinea pigs would like this because they don't really chew on stuff a lot. So that's why I'm doing this for the gerbils because they will like it. So I will. So basically, you're just rolling it and then you're twisting the ends like a like a pot, like a party cracker, like that. That's what you want to do. Then I'm gonna give it to the gerbils, and hopefully they're up right now. They were up. I think they're back asleep. I'm gonna have to wake them up. So here we go. There's Edie and Isa. Isa, what are you chewing on? This is their. Oh, there's Sophie. <laughs> What's left of their tunnel? 
What are you doing? Let's see. I always have to fix everything. I'm sick of fixing everything. Let's see. You got you. There's lots of yummy stuff in there. And I packed the hay in as like much as I could, so it's a lot of hay in it. She'll, she, they're gonna get through it, and like, like I'm gonna sit here, and you'll probably see if I'm getting through it. I wish her sister, her sisters would focus. Look, Isa, what is Sophie doing? There we go, guys. I'll go at it. So this is a good boredom breaker that you can do, or whatever. They haven't really had anything since I gave them that egg, which I did not make a video of the egg that I gave them because they were dumb, like always, and they didn't take it from my hand. They all ran away, so I just left it in their bowl, and then it disappeared. So obviously they liked it. They just didn't want to... I figured if I made a video it would be even worse, and they wouldn't even t touch the egg. I like how they're going after just the ends that are like twisted. Not realizing that there's like yummy, yummy, yumminess inside. Come on. They're almost broken into that one spot there that Isa was <laughs> claw at it. I think they need a rock so they can trim down their nails. But I don't know what I'd do with it because I know it just get buried. I need a new wheel because this one is making that noise again, and no matter what I do, it makes that noise. And if I had a hamster, I would just tape it. Because you can just tape. It's the blue part squeaking like too loose against the white part because you can you have to disconnect them to um, clean them. And when you do that a lot, it gets rattly. See that noise? I picture that in the middle of the night. awful. I would tape it, but they're gerbils, and I have a bad feeling they're just going to eat the tape, and that's not good. So I'm just going to get a new wheel. The purple one's fine. It's the blue one, and the blue one's the older one. But I had, a couple of my hamsters have had that blue one. So. Okay, so I guess we're going to cut away because this video is going to be like a million minutes long because they're taking forever to get into it. So thanks for watching. Um, if you do end up doing this for your own pet, um, take pictures. Let me see it. And thanks for watching. Bye.